Thanks for joining us here at Functional Bliss, where Audra and Jessica will guide you through exercises and wellness techniques to help you live your best life every day. It's in the name after all, Functional Bliss. Before you do anything else, click like and subscribe and ring the bell so you'll know whenever we put up a new video. To join our Blissful Gang for live Zoom classes where you can get more direct suggestions and encouragement, go to our website and sign up. Check the class description below for any equipment needs, grab your gear, and let's get started. Started. All right. So sitting up nice and tall, stretching your feet out long in front of you, starting with just a little side to side, bringing a little motion through your body, swinging your arms, letting them top against your leg and your hip, waking everything up, and then add a little foot pedal in, waking up the ankles and the calves, maybe a little bit through the quads as well. Couple more here. And then bringing everything back to center, moving into your side bend. And then transitioning into your front reaches. Reaching out nice and long towards the toes, to the toes, maybe even past the toes, up to you. And then one more on each side. And then bringing the feet in, windshield wiper in the knees. Starting with the feet, just hip width apart. And if everything's feeling good there, maybe bring those feet a little further apart, windshield wiper a little further. And if it's still all feeling good, maybe add that little roll all the way up onto the hip. And remember we learned bringing the outside knee up first. Really help work on that hip mobility, opening everything up. One more on each side. And then bringing everything back to center, stretching those feet out nice and long, bop the knees up and down. And then rotating the hands and feet. And go the other way. And then wiggle those fingers and toes. And grab your resistance bands. So we are gonna start with one of my favorite resistance bands movements, band movements, which is just the seated row. It's the best way to do this exercise at home without a machine that I've found. So looping it behind your feet, sitting up nice and tall, stretching up through the crown of your head, and you're pulling your elbows back, squeezing your shoulder blades together. That's it, one minute, here we go. Beautiful, check in with your posture here. Push the crown of your head up towards the sky. And then once you've got that nice long stretch up through your spine, tuck your chin just a tiny bit, not towards your chest, but like you're pulling it in, almost like you're trying to make a little double chin. You're halfway there, more than halfway there. Getting that good squeeze, working back and the arms and keeping your feet flexed and your legs engaged perfect all right shake your arms out for just a second and then keeping that band around your feet while we're here we're gonna do one more exercise you might even need to choke up just a little bit more so that you have a little more resistance. You're gonna hollow your body out and roll back, not all the way to the floor, just part way back, and then right back up. This one's gonna work your core and your back a little more. Here we go. Hollowing your body out, rolling back, 
and then coming right back up nice and slow. Focus on that ab squeeze, letting those core muscles control how far back you go and making them do the work to draw you back up. Band will help just a little bit. But you want to make those ab muscles do the most, most of the work here. Beautiful, 20 seconds left. Focus on that hollow body. So the first thing you do is round everything out before you do your rollback. And then stretch up nice and tall. Beautiful, all right. Now from here, we are gonna go down onto our back. And the loop is only gonna go, or the band is only gonna go around one foot. So, flat on your back, that leg is gonna come up and we're gonna hold it in the opposite hand to start. And we're gonna do 30 seconds pulling out. And then we're gonna swap hands and do 30 seconds pulling in. I'll tell you when to switch. All right, here we go. Pulling out to the side. Holding that band up. So you're getting a little resistance for your arm as well. We're focused on the leg here. Still keeping the foot nice and flexed. Switching in three, two, one, and switch. So now you're going across your body, working those inner thigh muscles. Beautiful, 10 seconds to go. And time. All right, switching legs. And then starting out holding with the opposite hand. 30 seconds go in each direction. Here we go. Beautiful. And you control how much resistance you're getting by how tight you're holding that band and how far out away from your body you're holding it to. Switch sides. And do that cross body. Beautiful. Still in the inner thigh. Kicking on. Keeping that foot flex. Time. All right. Now, up next, this is where you have the option to use your looping band. Or if you don't have a looping band or you just don't want to mess with it, you can still use your regular band. But what you're going to do is bring the band around both legs right above the knees. And then with your feet together, leaning back on your arms or making a core workout too, bring your arms up. We're doing basically a version of a clamshell. Right here, beautiful. Here we go, one minute. Now make sure that band is comfortable above your knees. You don't want it pressing on the joint. And then anytime that it feels appropriate, you can always put your hands behind you. So you're focused on the legs and not so much on the abs. 
Or keep those arms out nice and strong the whole time and make your abs do the work to hold you up. 20 seconds to go. Almost there. Time. All right, so from here, we're gonna go down on our back again. You have the option to keep that band there and then add your other band, or if it rolls around and you don't like it, you can always take that one off. But you're gonna do a glute bridge, holding your long band across your hip so that you're keeping your arms engaged and providing a little resistance for that bridge. And if you keep that band on your leg, you can push out a little into it and get a little extra thigh work as well. One minute on the clock. Here we go. You're pulling that resistance band down towards the floor and pushing up against it with your hips. Beautiful. Halfway done. Ten seconds to go, you got this. And time. All right, first set is done. You can go ahead and take that looping band off your legs, grab some water, and then we still have two sets to go. All right, getting in position for that nice seated row. Band goes behind the feet, and I like to put it across the ball of my feet so that it's nice and secure. And then, here we go. Pulling the elbows back. Tightening up on that band if you want more resistance or relaxing if you need a little less resistance. Up to you and where you are today. Check in with your posture. Reaching up through the crown of the head. And then tucking that chin back just a little bit. And breathing, of course. Beautiful. Almost there, five more seconds. And time. All right, from here, doing that curl back. I don't know why I moved those. I knew I needed them. <laughs> so getting in position one more time. One minute on the clock. Here we go. Bounding out, making that hollow body. And then coming right back up. How far back do you go? That's totally up to you. And how your abs are feeling today. Beautiful. I was explaining a hollow body position to my son. He's 10. And I was trying to figure out a good way to explain it to him. What I came up with 
is it's like you're making a hollow bowl with your belly. And then I thought, you know, that's really a good description of it because it doesn't matter what position you're in. You're still trying to pull that belly in like you're making a little bowl shape. Time. All right, up next, we are going down on our backs for those leg kicks to each side. So, looping it right around the foot. Sometimes it gets stuck and takes a second. No worries. 30 seconds each direction. I'll tell you when to switch. Here we go. Getting some good arm and shoulder work. Help them provide that resistance while you're working your thighs. And if you're still pulling your belly in to make that hollow body shape, getting some good ab engagement. Switching sides in two, one, switch. And you may feel this in your hamstring as well as the inside of your thigh, and that's perfectly fine. But you definitely want to make sure you can, and you can even put your hand on it to feel that muscle on the inside of your thigh, the adductor, pulling your leg in. Time. All right, switch feet. And here we go for the other side. Switching sides in three, two, one, and switch. I was telling you that you definitely want to feel the inside thigh muscle tightening up here. What happens if you don't? Well, you can change the position of your 